Hey, this is Rich, the steel one, and never give up. I'm super excited. Uh, tonight, I hit uh, 50 subscribers, and I know a lot of you are going to think, well, that's not a whole lot, but to me it is, and I appreciate it so very much. Um, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm, I'm just thrilled, and I hope uh, it'll keep going that way. I want to thank you guys. You guys are inspired me to to uh, make make these videos, and uh, I'm having fun doing them. Um, whether I make money or have a bazillion subscribers, um, I'm just having fun, and I love doing it. Um, probably some of my stuff is a little boring. Um, I know my editing. I like it. I. You can probably tell that I like it because it's it's not bad for a beginner, you know. I think it's pretty good. I'm still learning. The best advice I ever was given um, was just do it. Just start. Awesome. Amazing, blessed, honored, honest, gratitude, forgiven, thankful. Just do it, just start, and you'll figure it out as you go. And don't give up. You know, something else that motivates me, uh, is lifting people up, um, complimenting them, um, praising them for their hard work or good work or something that they did. Man, that feels good. It feels so good. Um, I'm here at work and uh, I I was at a school and I uh, I was so impressed by their grounds and how good they looked and uh, um, I made sure I let them know and you know what afterwards I feel so good I feel really good I feel motivated I feel good you know when you tear people down you it just makes you feel bad it makes you feel grumpy it makes you feel upset man give it a try go and compliment people um, it feels so good it feels so good to build people up instead of tearing them down and, yeah, I feel really good today because of that. It was a good way to start my day. Yeah. What's going on you guys? My name is Rich and I am Steel, Steel One. One. And today George has asked me to do a motivational video for him um, to give you some of my two cents uh, about things. But first I'm going to have my buddy Sylvester Stallone uh, give you a little speech, a little one, and it kind of sets the tone for what I'm going to be talking about.
Go ahead, Sly. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. You're better than that. Yeah. It's pretty, sh it's a really good speech. I mean, really. Um, so basically, uh, you know, I want, just wanted to say, you know, life is hard. It is. It really is. And it could be really hard, you know. Um, but, you know, God never, never said that life was going to be easy. And he never said that you were going to be happy all the time. He never promised that. Um, but he did give us joy. And I feel like joy and happiness. A lot of people think joy and happiness are the same thing, but they're really not. I feel like uh, happiness is something that happens to you, you know, where something happens that makes you happy or you're in a good mood or whatever. But joy, I feel like, is, uh, is a choice. You can choose to get up every morning and make that decision. You can, you can, you can be down on yourself and uh, stress out and you know and be depressed. And I realize there are some clinically depressed people out there that you know have to take medication and whatnot. And I get that. But for the rest of us slobs. Uh, you know, and trust me, I know it's 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 easy for me to say. With right now, I'm not going through anything. Um, I've gone through a lot of stuff in my life, and um, have I handled it the best way every time? No, uh, I haven't. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I've uh, been de depressed, and um, but I like good example. You know. Um, I went through a divorce, uh, geez, I don't even know how long it's been now, 10 years or so. <laughs> anyway, after that, you know, I was just totally depressed. You know, I didn't want to go out with friends. I didn't want to do anything. I just went to work and came home and I hardly even wanted to be at work. Not that anybody wants to be at work, but you know what I mean. Um, but. I had to make that choice. Um, did people motivate me to, to get up and start living again? Absolutely. Um, but I really feel like God put those people in, in my way, uh, like Omar. Um, but uh, I had to make that ultimate choice and say, you know what? I'm not going to live like this anymore. I'm not going to stay home and not do anything. and, and life is so short um, I can't believe that I'm gonna be 50 in like a couple years I mean that just blows me away just to think about you know I I feel like you know I just turned 30 <laughs> I don't know but you know I had to make that choice and decided you know what I am gonna live and I'm gonna have fun. I'm going to make that choice. I'm going to make that choice to get up every day and and live my life. And um, I'm going to go out and I'm going to have fun. I I went and I, and I met I, and I wasn't even planning on it. You know, I, I was on a dating app and wasn't really like looking for anybody in particular. You know, just 
just kind of you know swipe swipe left swipe, swipe right you know that type of thing really didn't message anybody um, didn't really talk to anybody but just one day uh, a special uh, young lady popped on there and we started talking and next thing you know four, four years later and you know we're still together um, and I love her she loves me and we have a great time together we go out together exploring and you know this YouTube is just it's great um, it's been really good for me um, but again like I said I had to make that choice um, to go out and explore, to to better myself on YouTube. You know, I I get on YouTube and I, uh, or when I edit, you know, I'm always constantly trying to challenge myself to do something new, uh, to learn something new, and um, have fun doing it. Now, this is for you guys who uh, who make YouTube videos. Look. YouTube is tough too. It's just like life, you know. Um, you work real hard and you don't see the benefits of the working hard. Although there are benefits, you just being, you just ignoring them, you know. You don't look at the positive things that have happened to you. And I know that YouTube can bring you down. Um, and I got caught up in that too, you know, I was kind of focusing on the views and um, stressing out trying to make a couple of videos a week and um, and just not seeing any like growth, real, real strong growth. I mean, it was growing a little bit and, you know, but that's when I had to take a step back. I think it's been about like six months maybe the less where I had to say you know what I got to take a step back um, because the whole reason I started YouTube to begin with was to have fun and go out and get out get out of my funk of, of uh, living in depression and just working and coming home and watching TV and going to bed and you know uh, on the weekends just laying around in my underwear, not leaving my house at all, and that was it, you know. But I made that choice. Um, so, like I said, when, when you're down in the dumps, you, you've got to just, you know, pick yourself up and make that choice. Have joy. Have that choice to be joy. Be joyful, you know. Life is tough, and like Rocky said, you know, it, life will bring you to your knees if you let it permanently. Um, and nobody's gonna hit harder than life, than hit harder, a, 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 hit hard as life. And Rocky, he wants you to get out and move. Or, Anyway, like I was saying, uh, before Rocky interrupted me. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's a choice. You can choose to be negative. You can choose to be sad. You can choose to be depressed. Or you could choose to start living. Because life is so short and it's going to go by like a blink of an eye before you know it. And, uh... I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But God's got your back. He wants you to rely on Him. That's when, you, when, when you're going through tough times and you need that joy, you ask the Lord, please, Lord, help me. Help me make this, this choice to, to be joyful and positive and, and like George says, never give up never give up so just believe in yourself you know you can do this you can you may not think you can but you can and anything you want to do in life you can do it you just got to 
work hard and move forward and um, like Rocky says know what you're worth and go out and get it go do it you know anyway guys I hope that's good um, if you ever need someone to talk to feel free to message me uh, email me or whatever but uh, yeah anyway Say goodbye, Rocky. Say goodbye, boy. Boy, boy, boy. I love you guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs> so I need to patch the, pass the torch on the next person that George wants to hear from, and that is Corbin. And uh, his channel is Corbin Comedy. No, wait. I always get it wrong. Corbin Connection Comedy. So, tell us what you, what motivates you there, Corbin?